A reading from the book of Ruth. Once in the time of the judges, there was a famine in the land. So a man from Bethlehem of Judah departed with his wife and two sons to reside on the plateau of Moab. Elimelech, the husband of Naomi, died, and she was left with her two sons who married Moabite women, one named Orpah, the other Ruth. When they had lived there about ten years, both Malon and Chilion died also, and the woman was left with neither her two sons nor her husband. She then made ready to go back from the plateau of Moab, because word reached her there that the Lord had visited his people and given them food. Orpa kissed her mother-in-law goodbye, but Ruth stayed with her. Naomi said, See now, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and her God. Go back after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, do not ask me to abandon or forsake you, for wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. Thus it was that Naomi returned with the Moabite daughter-in-law, Ruth, who accompanied her back from the plateau of Moab. They arrived in Bethlehem at the beginning of the barley harvest. Responsorial Psalm, Praise the Lord, my soul. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, my soul. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law of the prophets depend on these two commandments. What is the purpose of God's law and commandments? The Pharisees prided themselves in the knowledge of the law of Moses and the ritual requirements of the law. They made it a lifetime practice to study the 613 precepts of the Torah, the books of the Old Testament containing the law of Moses, along with the numerous rabbinic commentaries on the law. The religious authorities tested Jesus to see if he correctly understood the law as they did. Jesus started them with his profound simplicity and mastery of the law of God and its purpose. Jesus summarized the whole of the law in two great commandments found in Deuteronomy 6, 5. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your might. 
you shall love your neighbor as yourself. God's love directs all that he does. His love is holy, just, and pure because it seeks only what is good, beneficial, and life-giving, rather than what is destructive, evil, and deadly. That is why he commands us to love, to accept, and to give only what is good, lovely, just, and pure, and to reject whatever is contrary. What is the nature of love? Love is the gift of giving oneself for the good of others. It is wholly other-oriented and directed to the welfare and benefit of others. Love, which is rooted in pleasing myself, is self-centered and possessive. It is a selfish love that takes from others rather than gives to others. It is a stunned and disordered love which leads to many hurtful and sinful desires, such as jealousy, greed, envy, and lust. The root of all sin is disordered love and pride, which is fundamentally putting myself above God and my neighbor. It is loving and serving self rather than God and neighbor. True love, which is wholly directed and oriented to what is good rather than evil, is rooted in God's truth and righteousness. How can we possibly love God above all else and obey His commandments willingly and joyfully? And how can we love our neighbor and willingly lay down our life for their sake? Paul the Apostle tells us that hope does not disappoint us because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit which has been given to us. We do not earn God's love. It is freely given to those who open their heart to God and who freely accept the gift of the Holy Spirit. Ask the Lord Jesus to flood your heart with His love through the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, your love surpasses all. Flood my heart with your love and increase my faith and hope in your promises. Help me to give myself in generous service to others as you have so generously given yourself to me. Amen. Amen.